Now we are. <laughs> All right, we are live. It is So Together Tuesday. I'm Teresa Coates. I'm the National Educator for Shannon Fabrics. And we are back with another episode of So Together Tuesday. Today we're making the snowman pillow and I'm pretty excited about it. We took a week off. Right? That was last week, right, huh? Yep, Ooh, all of a sudden, my time went crazy again. Um, <laughs> it's hard to keep track of. Last week was Thanksgiving, so we took the week off, and we got to have a little bit of downtime, and we traveled around um, northwest Oregon and down the coast, and we made our way from Snohomish two weeks Oh, no, Beaverton, Oregon, with Sam Hunter a couple weeks ago. We did the Sonome, and we made our way down the coast, and now we are in Medford, Oregon. So we're in southern Oregon. It is beautiful, and uh, it's been, it was a gorgeous morning. The drive in here was beautiful this morning. So anyway, it's lovely, and we are here. It is our third to last of the season, so kind of exciting. Um, I'm here with the owner of Green Sew and Vac, which is where we are. Okay, so come on in. So this is Tina Monday. She is the owner. Are you the sole owner for the shop? I am now. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's the one and only. One and only. And so how long has the shop been around? Um, since the early 60s. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have not been the owner the whole time. <laughs> not been the owner the whole time. No. Uh, originally was Ray Green as Green Sun. Green's Vacuum, okay. Who happened to be a neighbor of ours years ago. Oh, and interesting. Good friend of the family. And I believe it or not, my mother used to sell crafts out of side of his store with her friend. And then uh, my father passed um, way back in 89. And her and Richard Ballard met, who then bought greens from Ray Green. Oh. And, and then they got married, and that's how greens started with got us. Got it. So that's how it came into your family. Yes. Then you've just recently yes. taken over completely yes. for yeah. yourself. Mm -hmm. So how long, is, how long has it been selling fabric? Because if, if I remember right, you guys were <laughs> sewing a vacuum shop, right? Right. November okay. of 2019. And then you got were it. here in yes. January yes. of 20. Money. Yeah, because that yeah. was how I first met the shop was yeah. like I'd come and like they'd recently started buying fabric and they had expanded beyond just sewing machines and vacuums. Yes. And so they're like, we have a bunch of cuddle and you should probably come help us sell it. So yes. I said, okay, let's do that. Yes. <laughs> so we did. And that's why I like asked them again when we were back in the area, like I want to come back to the store. Yes. So I'm glad cuddle we did. So it's been very popular. <laughs> it has been great. If you guys watched at the beginning, Hawk walked around and if you missed that, you need to go back and watch it later and we'll probably show you some stuff. But they have the best samples, which is why we chose this store. So you guys have a website. What is it? Greensdirect.com. Okay. And mm -hmm. all of the fabric is available all on there? there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. And then you have your embroidery supplies and all of that yes. good stuff. Yes. Okay. So anything that you see today, you can go find it at greensdirect.com and they'll be able to help you guys have a Facebook, we do. right? Mm -hmm. And then do you guys do YouTube? You do. You do. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have a YouTube channel also. Yes, yes. and we'll uh, we'll introduce the educator, mm -hmm. the educator extraordinaire. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's introduce Vicky. <laughs> Vicky's like really. See, this is why it's fun to come back to shop because I have like some sort of relationship which I like. So Vicky, come on in. <laughs> we'll introduce Vicky. Thank you, Tina. I appreciate it. Um, and thanks for having me back. You know, I don't know. It's always it's always a heartwarming when a store I've been to and I've taught at is like, please come back. And I'm like, oh really? Oh, you we, still like me after we all were that? Thrilled when you asked. <laughs> I'm very we happy saw about that. It. I'm like, yes, yes, you did. You were like, <laughs> yes, just like that. It was great. So this is Vicky. She is the educator, the jack of all trades, yeah. sample maker, all of that stuff. And she and I got along really well the last time I was here because I think we're both a little bit snarky. No, yeah. no. Um, maybe just a little. No. I don't know. But <laughs> she also likes to sew kind of the way that I do. Is you want to just try different things? Let's just like try it and see what happens. Is it going to work? Is it going to work? And so I feel like that's it's kind of a I don't know. It's a perk to having jobs like we it have is. that you get to like try all yep. these things. And part of it that I really enjoyed is that I get to try things that I can share with you guys that I'm like, okay, you might want to try this. Don't do it. It didn't work. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> but then we can try things that worked really well. And I'd be like, oh my gosh, you have to try this. So you had shown well, this all started because she had shown the snowman pillow on one of her YouTube. So mm -hmm. the, the YouTube that you do is uh, how, Vic, called how Vicky does it, how Vicky does it. And yes. it's on the YouTube for greens. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. So you yes. can find it there. And she talks about cuddle stuff all the time. I really, I love it. Cause yeah, she likes cuddle as much as I, like I do. Play I think. With it. <laughs> exactly. Play with it. See what you can do. Yeah. So when she had done one, one day you stroke it. Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yes. It is. It is the perfect <laughs> fabric for that. We were talking about it yesterday. Like, do you ever get tired of touching it? No. Mm -hmm. No, I will pet it and pet it and pet it. So this is, if I remember right, this is the one that's, yes, this is the one that's appliqued. 
just with a machine. This right? this one was sent by this you is guys. The so this yep. has been appliqued with a sewing machine. So this is a free pattern that we have, and you can find it if you go to the blog. Oh, I forgot to tell them. Share the video. Win a prize. We'll give away a beginner box at the end. Sorry. I get so excited about getting to the project. Um, so this is the snowman pill. If you go to the blog, so shannonfabrics.com slash blog, you'll be able to find the uh, latest blog post, and it should be up there pretty easy to find. Um, if not, search for snowman pillow in the blog. And you'll find the original tutorial that we did where we put all of these pieces on using just regular embroidery technique on a sewing machine. You will notice the machine we have today is not your normal old sewing machine, <laughs> okay? <laughs> this is fancy. And we're gonna use this one today to do the same pillow in a different variation. So we're gonna do it with embroidery. We don't have the files for embroidery. This is just a pattern that we came up with. So we do it applique. But Vicky is smart enough <laughs> and clever enough to figure out how to use this machine to make your own embroidery, mm -hmm. right? Yes, I did. Okay. So I wanna tell you that they have kits for this on their website. They have kits for this on their website. You can get the pattern for the little hat. It's just a little um, download from our blog. So if you go over there, you can find that and you can get the pattern. Does the pattern come in the kit to buy it? No. No? No. no. So you gotta go download it from the, yeah, from from the, the blog, blog and then you'll have the pattern and you can buy the kits from them. And the, keeps are, the kits are really reasonably priced. I checked. They still had some. Go buy them. Okay. All right. So this is what we're going to make, mm -hmm. but we're going to make it a little differently. Do we have the sample that you did? Yeah. This is the, the one that I had originally done, and I had done it out of the shearling. Okay. But you'll see, and one of the things that I recommend people not do is I did try to use a uh, glitter vinyl for the eyes, and with the intensity, the, the squishiness of mm. the cuddle, and then the oh. applique stitch, it started to cut to, the to vinyl. Tear, yep. So you really don't want to use vinyl in this instance. Got it. Okay, that's, that's great. Yeah. So and that's just why stick I with the to cuddle. Show, yes, stick, with, stick the cuddle. with the cuddle. But this is using the shearling. Right, and the shearling, they have a bunch of this. So I will say that the... Side by side, though. Yep. Thank so you. I will say that the, the seal is a little bit more intense. So it's, if it's your first applique project, you can totally do it. But the shearling might be a little bit easier if you're scared of it. Um, also, don't be scared, but they do have the shearling available to purchase, which I love, and um, there's not a lot of it left out there, so if you like it, you should buy it now, um, and this is the seal, which is what's in the kits, mm -hmm. correct? Yes. Okay. yes. okay, so this is what you'll get in the kits. This is the shearling, which they have lots of. Buy it, um, and then this is the finish. Okay, so look at, can you see the finish of that closer, like the, the little, these guys? You see how it looks a little different? Okay. So like this nose so this is just a, a little different. This one's a blanket stitch, right? This is a blanket stitch around, around it. The and then she did some little stitching in there. Oh yeah, I see that. Some, some to texture, give it some texture. Right. Same, mm -hmm. same goes. And then this was done on the embroidery machine. So and it has a, a satin stitch around it. Has a satin perimeter. stitch around it. Yeah. Okay. And again, texture line. Yep. Got so it. it looks a little bit it looks a little bit different, but really it's pretty darn close. Okay. So if you want to get the pattern, this is what it looks like. Ta -da. Okay. So go find that pattern. Okay, and then it has all of the instructions in there. It also has a pattern sheet. And this is where we start, yes. right? We have to have the yes. pattern sheet. Yes. So normally, if you were doing this um, with just your regular applique, you're going to do it a little bit differently. And like I said, we did a video on it a couple of years ago. So you can find that on our YouTube and you can find if you do how to do a snowman pillow. You'll find that because today we're going to talk about how to do it with the embroidery. All right. Okay. So one of the things that you want to make sure of is I did not want to use the one with the fold in it because I find that if I put it on the scanning bed and it has that fold, you're going to end up with a little divot in some of the lines. Oh. So I just wanted a nice clean sheet. So I copied this so it would be nice and flat. And Got then it. I didn't need this because I did that with the template plastic. I made a circle mm -hmm. out of the out of so, template plastic. Yep, so let me show you that. So I think this is a great idea and I love template plastic. So they sell these big sheets, which are awesome. Okay, so you can buy these individual sheets and lots of quilt shops have them. They have these big guys, which I actually haven't seen them this big before. Um, well, it does chop off one end. It chops off it one works. end, but you just spin it and make that circle yes. complete. Okay, this is not, not hard. Um, yeah, so this is a big sheet of template plastic. You made your circle, mm -hmm. and I noticed that you marked your quarter marks. I did, yes. Okay, because that's really important when you're putting these together is to be able to, like, kind of align things a little is to get those marks on there. Okay, so we've got our template. Yep, so we've got that. So then 
I take it and I've put it on this scanning bed for the luminaire. Okay. And since we don't need to have the circle, basically we're just needing these pieces right here. So you can just move the magnets up. And is that a special kind of hoop? This is the scanning bed for the uh, luminaire. Got it. Okay, so that yeah. comes with the machine. Yes. And we're yes. using a Brother Luminaire 2 today. Well, that, that has been upgraded to a 3. Oh, okay. So, yeah, this one has been upgraded. Great. That's a software yes. distinction. Yes. Yes. Got it. So we're going to go into My Design Center, or if you're Baby Lock, it's going to be the IQ. But you go into My Design Center. Um, okay. I need to get to my mouse. And then this little leaf. How about if I come over this way? There you this go. little leaf is what's going to tell the machine that we want to scan it. So we're going to do a line image on this because we just want the lines and tell it to scan. And okay. And so you're going to see that the bed's going to move and it's going to read that and it will bring it up on the screen. So there's a fancy little camera in there somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> All I know is I love it. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, we're not running into anything. <laughs> and the green magnets are just part of that scanning. Yeah. Thing. Okay. So it's kind so of like you, your old you've printers. never seen anything like this? No, I have never oh. seen it done. I, I know that it does it, but that's as far as I know, which I'm kind of excited about. So yeah, Vicky's kind of taken over the show today to teach us something, and I get to learn all about it too. Awesome. Because I can do digitizing, but I have to use a software to do it. It's not this fast. Okay. <laughs> so then when you get over to this screen, you can see that it has brought up the design. Basically, all I need are these pieces right here. So we're going to bring this. Now, this is where it gets a little fussy. We want to get as much of the design, but not if we can get rid of the green magnets. Oops, too far. Okay. So we're basically cropping. We're cropping. Yes, cropping. Got it. Okay. So then I've gotten that basically where I want it. So I'm going to say, OK, and I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that setting and set. OK, so I can come up here. These leaves, if you push these, they'll make either the picture darker or lighter. What I want to do is to get rid of those magnets if I can. So I take it all the way down. So see, the magnets have disappeared off the screen. So then. What I need to do is I've got to get rid of all the writing and the stuff that I don't want. So I'm going to come over here to the eraser, size it up. I think I was at about a 27. I'm going to leave it in the circle and OK. So now up in here, I'm going to take it. It's at 100% right now, but that's pretty small. I have found that if I go to 400%, it's much better for me to see. So I'm going to take take the hand, which pans it. You click on the hand, then you can move the items around on the screen. Click the eraser, and I'm going. I'm doing this really at an odd angle here, guys. So. Camera camera guy is in the way again. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so so you just have to kind of you keep clicking the hand and the eraser to get rid of what you don't want. So this works because those pieces are all 100%. Yes. So if you had a pattern that it wasn't 100%, you should enlarge it first. Yes. Correct? Yes. So that you're scanning it at 100. Yes. OK, cool. Yeah. Okay. I want to make sure I'm understanding it correctly. So you're trying to take off anything that we don't yes, want it to I'm create taking in the yes. design. And like I said, it's it's I'm it's hard to do at an angle, but I'm getting there. You are getting there. So obviously we don't want the writing. So we're also gonna get rid of that. See, this is this is the part that's kind of like watching paint dry. So so um, which machines of the machines that you guys carry will do this fancy stuff? You know, the Luminaire and the Solaris. 
XJ1. And what brand is that? Brother. That's a brother. That's a brother. Okay. That's right. And a baby lock Meridian. Okay. So what is what is the um, what is this capability called? If they want to look for a machine that does this, what do they look for? Scanning. Do you scanning. want to be able? Yeah. This is the okay. scanning. Okay, with the baby lock, it's the IQ. Mm -hmm. And with this, it was uh, my, design my design center. center. Okay, so that's fabulous. Because I think that and it if has you, so if much you capability. If you accidentally, like see, I was cleaning up the center. If you accidentally hit that, see, obviously we didn't want that to happen. You're just going to hit the backup and it'll put that back just, in again. It was these arrows right, right here. There. Yep. All right, you're not stuck. Yeah, you're don't, not starting over don't and panic. don't panic. Now, to me, all charcoal is created equal. So yes. I only needed one of those. Right. That's what I was so, going to ask is like, yeah. it's good. Like the charcoal pieces are kind of fun, but they don't really need to be all no, different shapes. No, especially because of the cuddle. You can't right. really see. So this is a little hack, even if you're going to do it the, or the um, See what I did? Way. I went out of there. So now I'm just going to back up. And so then I can go back again because I got a little herky jerky there. So yeah, so if you're doing an um, applique style, you can totally do the same thing and just kind of hack it and not use the different kinds of charcoal. Just use one, it's fine. Because you're right, as cute as it is, it really doesn't make much difference in the cuddle. Yeah, because it disappears in the cuddle. We did want to do them and you can see they're a little, um, they're not quite circular because if they're really charcoal bits, they're not going to be circular. They're going to have some shape. So we wanted to give them some little weirdness. I have some experience with this. Yeah, with getting charcoal in your stocking? Yeah, they're, mm -hmm. yeah, they're, they're, oh. they're not around. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you were a bad boy, huh? <laughs> okay, i got to get my glasses in the right direction here, guys. This is where it gets a little... So you could make that a little smaller and it might be a little easier yeah, if you're, if you're struggling with it. Yeah, okay. you, you You're can. talented. You can do this. I believe in you. I'm just trying to like figure out if somebody else is struggling. You could change the size of the, the circle, eraser, yes. You, the size of the eraser, or you could and zoom I could it make, in. Yes, and zoom I could it make it. I could bit. make this even bigger if you need it. I'll go to the 800 percent. Oh, look at that. So see now, now it becomes much easier to see where that's going to be. Certainly oh, more accurate. Yep. Got it. That's super easy. And can you, you can do this with anything. I have a, a friend who just recently did one with like a crossword puzzle or something that she scanned that was really cute. Oops. See, and I, um, I actually made my own crossword puzzle did on you? the machine. I think it was my oh. last video. Oh, that's super cool. It's on a purse somewhere here in the shop. Oh, yeah. We have to show the, uh, the cute little purse that you did with the snowman. So then I'm going to take it back sure to 100 percent, and so it appears that I've gotten everything. So this is the pupil, this is the center, <clears throat> excuse me, the center eye, yeah, charcoal, and then the carrot nose. So I've gotten that cleaned up. I, what I want to do though, right now, it's set to be a satin stitch, and I need to have the machine take this and save it as a. I want it as a. Um, to, to be able to do the placement stitch, mm -hmm. the tack down stitch, and um, then I will add an, the applique right. stitch or the satin stitch to it. Right. So I'm right now I want to change this because it's set to be a uh, satin stitch. And we don't want to do that and from I, the beginning. I don't want right. to do that from the beginning. So I'm going to come in here and change it to a double run. And I'm going to change the color to a red or a bright pink. And say, okay. So then I'll take the bucket here and I tap and if oh. it changes color, then I know it has implemented it. Got it. Okay. okay. So that's how you can kind of double check your work. Yes. Got yes. it. So then I'm going to go ahead at this point, because I've cleaned this up and I'm going to want to use it again, mm -hmm. I'm going to put it into the memory of the machine. Okay. So that I can pull it up into IQ again. Got it. The memory. And you can put it, if you have a USB stick, you can put it on the USB, but I'm going to save it right to the machine. So that's all in there now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go home and I'm going to clean off this screen because okay. I only want to work with pieces of this. Right, right. 
because this isn't how it gets laid out on the on the snowman. That's right. right. Yeah, he's he's a little funky right now. So we're gonna go to Picasso like house and say okay. So we go back into my design center. We go into the pocket of my design where center we saved it. where we saved yep. it, and I pull it up and say okay. So now I'm going to go to the eraser again. Just increase that baby. We're going to go ahead and make it quite a bit bigger because I'm going to get rid of everything but the main part of the eye. So we'll just increase pan down and this is pretty easy to remember because this is the big part of the eye the inside yes. of the eye and the coal and the coal is a different shape yes so so we get rid of that little guy just wipe them right off yep and then if i understand right we're going to save it in different in increments for yes the, yes i like to save the... them piece by piece got it okay it just it to me it made it easier than i can bring it in in the order that I want to bring it in. Got it. So could you could you scan and do that individually with each piece if you wanted to just scan the eyeball? Just like if you were doing something else, I'm wondering, is yeah. it better to scan it all as one thing? If you have it all as one thing, you might as well. It's, you might as well. But, okay. if, but if, if they if were it, separate pieces, if you could separate, scan them. Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. If you had separate pattern pieces or something, then yes, it you can easily just do them piece by piece. Got you it. just want to remember to save it in my design center and or and or IQ, because mm -hmm. if you don't save it there and you move on, you've lost you've it. lost it. You have to start over again. Oh, and nobody wants to do that. No. So we'll go back to the hundred. So there's our little our just our pupil. So, again, I'm going to save that as a double run. You want to remember to change the color and generally to something that you can see. Bucket. So not to like a light gray. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. So now. This is what I would and do we, and then wonder where it went. <laughs> there you go. So we're going to go to next because right now we're going to make sure. And so we can tell too that I got lucky when I did my cleanup because these arrows are grayed out. If these arrows were not grayed out, that would mean that there's, I left a piece of something floating around out here. Oh, So okay. then I would go back to return, find it, and Clean erase it, it. Got it. Okay. But we'll go to next. And so right now, it's set to stitch that as a double run. But I just want to go ahead. I like to lengthen that. This is, a, run pitch is actually a stitched length. Oh, that makes sense. So Not. we're going to <laughs> take it. I generally take it to about 0.104. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to. So that just lengthens the stitch a little that's bit. That's right. And so now it's it's setting it in. So now at this point, if I hit set, it's going to take it directly over to embroidery. Okay. I don't want to do that. I want to make sure that I save it in both places just in case I've made a mistake somewhere. Right. I have the option to go back into IQ. So if I hit memory at this point from this screen, when I hit memory, it saves it in my design center mm -hmm. and or IQ, and it saves it in embroidery. Oh, so I have okay. it in both places now. Got it. Okay. Okay. So then I'll hit set. And this is at the point where it's telling me, hey, did you save this? Right. Because we're getting ready to leave I this land. Right. And you, like you said, if you leave it now and you don't save it, right. you've lost you, it. Yeah. Okay. So this is important. Right. Make sure that you do So that. you're going to take this. And so here's your the outer part the black part of the eye mm -hmm. yes the black part of the eye yep i go into edit if you hit move and you hit the center button it moves it to the center of the screen so we say okay right here this is the duplicate key so right now we have made oh. a placement now we want to duplicate it to make a tack down and we Got want it, it in the double run so we're going to duplicate and if you hit move and the center, they are now directly on top of one another. Got it. Which is what you want when you're doing the embroidery because yes. you're going to put put a line down for this is where you put it. Yes. Then you're going to put the fabric down and then it stitches Trim in that it. same and place. And then you'll do your, Got it. your satin stitch. Okay. So we say, okay. Now at this point, we want to do 
our satin stitch. So we're going to go into add. We go back into my design center, go to the pocket, and we're going to bring up our circle. And we say, OK. So it has come in as a zigzag, mm -hmm. but I want to change the color just to make sure it's doing what I want it to do and tap it. Okay. And we're going to go to next. And right here, this is where you're going to change your zigzag width. Now, I will tell you, um, right now I'm in inches. Mm -hmm. I like my zigzag in millimeter. Right. The number makes more with. sense yeah. to me. So I'm yeah. going to go up here to settings. And I'm going to go down here. And right here, it's in inches. So we're going to change that now to millimeter. Got it. And that just makes it easier to understand. Yes. Yeah. For okay. the sometimes. I think in inches in some aspects, right. and then I think in millimeters in others. Right. So I do bounce between the yeah. two while I'm doing this. Yeah. With stitches, it generally tends to be, it, we know it in millimeters. Yes. Yeah. So now on the width on this, I'm going to change it to... It's a nice big one. Yeah, big, a good one. We'll go ahead, change it to a six. Okay. Okay. And we say, okay. So it's implementing that change. And then I have found through playing... It comes in at 100%. I like to take it up to 110. It okay. just gives it a nice fill and say, Because that makes okay. it a little less tight together. It spreads it just the tiniest bit, right? Is that what that is? It, no, or it, it makes shrinks it, it a little it, bit it more. It makes it tighter. Makes it tighter. Yes. Okay. Makes it tighter. Got it. So then we're going to say set. Okay. Edit. Move. Center. Got it. So there's basically our eyeball but um, I'm think okay what I want to do because now these are three separate pieces right if we go to move this in any way it's just going to take that top one because that's, that's what I was all wondering. it's holding on to right because that's the most recent thing that mm -hmm. we did so we're going to come down here to the grouping keys oh okay going to tap that and if you hit this right here it's taking all three layers Got it. And holding it. So you say, OK. But then you have to come up here to the final group. Tap that. And now this is all one Perfect. piece. Oh, this is great. Thank Got you. It. OK. And it's, yes, everybody, is this video will live on YouTube forever. forever. <laughs> OK. <laughs> so you will get to go back and do this with your own machine. OK. <laughs> so then, of Follow course, along. you want to put it. I like to go into the embroidery. And then hit the memory and put it and in save it to the, the memory of the and machine. And so that so now we've got we've saved in the memory the three pieces, mm -hmm. the one piece, and now the three copies of the one. Yes, the, the eye. Yes. The grouped yes. eye. So got now it. you're gonna do, we're just gonna go home because we don't want that. The machine's got it. So we'll go back into my design center, go back into the pocket, gonna bring in our three pieces again and say, OK. And we're going to go through that erasing bit again. Good, good. OK, so we, we can do this with the eye. We'll show them how to make the eye. Yes. That'll be yeah. great. So and then it'll do it. You would do the same. You'll do the same process with all four of those pieces. Yes, all four pieces. Got there it. is a little bit of a difference in the nose. OK. So we're going to bring this down. And now we can get rid of the big eye. Is that one we just did? Yep. Scoop it right up. So that's I'm, really nice. I like it with the with the mouse. How would you do it if you didn't have a mouse? You could just um with a stylus or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, there's okay. a stylus. we took it off the machine. Got there's it. a okay. stylus for the machine. But I just would actually touch screen also. Uh yes. Yeah, but, probably but it's, not as it's not as accurate. And Got I like it. the mouse because you can get more accurate. And right. when you're getting a mouse for one of these machines, mm -hmm. just go out and buy the cheapest one you can find. And it, it has to be wired. Oh, it has to be a wired mouse. USB, it's 
Brooke coming right yep. into the side of the machine. Yep. Right so there. most of us have one laying around in the junk yes. drawer. And it has to Use be wired one. and the cheapest one you can get. I actually had a customer and she's here. She had gone somewhere and bought one of the, it was the only one they had. Mm -hmm. It was more expensive. She took it home, plugged it in. It didn't work. Oh, and so <laughs> that's frustrating. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to intentionally leave this little piece right here. Okay. Because I want to show what happens if you move on and what. Okay. So, but I do need to go back and erase. Because it is awfully easy, I think, probably to leave something sitting yes. there. Especially when you're doing minute, mm -hmm. because you can get a little tiny piece in there and it, and, and then it's a little different. You don't right. see it. You don't even notice. And so first off though, what we need to erase our coal and our carrot. And the hand is what moves it. Yes. Okay. I think part of learning new processes like this is remembering what the buttons do. Yeah. And what I'm supposed to push to yeah. make it do. Well, that and, thing. and going, why is it not moving? Because you didn't push it. Right. You know. And why is it making marks? Because you didn't push it. Yeah. This will be, this will be helpful. Do we have any questions online that people are? Are they just? Amazed by it too. Uh, I mean, everybody's everybody's pretty excited about the whole affair. I think we're, this is just right now, it's I a think fabulous we're, way yeah. of being able to do it. Okay, so here's our inner pupil, and then there's my oopsie. I left that intentionally so right. that you guys can see if that shows up, what you're going to do to it. But I do want to first change that to the double run and our color, and then the bucket and tap. Now, in my eye, I'm not seeing that. Technically, I would not have seen that. Right, I because if, it, if this were up to like 200%, you wouldn't see it over there. It could be off the screen. Yes, or, yeah. it, or if it was just a yeah. little dot mm -hmm. of something I left, because sometimes you can just have this little microscope, and it's yes. like, you're going, what is it? And where what is, is it? it? Exactly. And you, you just <laughs> didn't get it erased. So I just wanted to leave it big, though, so mm -hmm. that people so can, we can see, see it. it. Yeah. So we're going to go into the next. Mm -hmm. Okay, and see how now these arrows are not grayed out? That's telling me that there's two things on the screen, and I only want, I want that pupil. So I'm like, oh, so what I can do is if I hit the link button, see how it puts a box around both of them? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, okay, well, this is what I want to keep. Actually, there's, there's another little thing there's out a, there. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. See, see, evidence. That, this is oh, how it happens. Teeny. So what we want to do now is we're going to hit return. We'll go back to our eraser, blow this baby up. I'm going to go up to 800 since I didn't see that other one. Hopefully, now I got to find it here. This is like this is the hunting game. There we go. <laughs> so then we erase because that other one over there is little. Yes, it is. So then we and it's kind of over here yep. somewhere. It was somewhere over there. There we oh, go. There it is. Oh my See our goodness. Little dot. It's like three little pixels. Mm -hmm. So then we Sheesh. hit the eraser and there it is. Okay, so be patient when you're with yourself when you're doing this because yes. it's easy to miss. Yes. That's what I'm seeing. So hopefully I No, it wasn't on the other one because we were grayed. Yep. <laughs> it was. Yep. <laughs> That's right. We were grayed. We were okay. <laughs> we got the first one so, great. Okay. So now again, because this is millimeter, I need to go back to inches. Because my brain is not, I don't, for some reason, I mean, sure, I could write it down, but who does that? <laughs> so um, <laughs> do as I say. Yeah. Yeah. So we go over here. We're going to go back to inches and OK, because we want to lengthen that run pitch to about there. We say, OK, it's telling it. That's what we want to do. Remember, put it in your memory. At this point, it's going into both places. OK. Memory. Set. Okay. So we go to edit, move, center. And okay. We want to duplicate it because that's our placement. Mm -hmm. Now we're making our tack down. Got it. I think that's okay. the easiest way probably to remember that is that you have to do a placement, a tack down, and a stitching line. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to add. We go back into my design center, back into the pocket. And we bring up, this is the most recent one. We bring that in. We're at a zigzag. We want to change that color. 
the colors you're picking right now aren't thread colors. They're just arbitrary colors so that you can tell that it's grabbing the right pixels. Yes, telling it where to stop. Okay. Telling the mach machine where I want it to stop. So we're he so we've got our um, we've added that satin stitch. So here, before we move on, we'll just go ahead and go back to those millimeters before Hawk goes close in with that camera again, and I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go to next, and again, now we want to change this, but now this one we don't want to go that super large zigzag because it'll overwhelm the eye. Because this is the inside of the this eye, so it should be a, of, it's the smaller, smaller circle, satin so it should stitch. be a smaller stitch. Yes, okay. Yes, so I believe I did it. I think you like, did it at six for the other one. I did six for the other one. We'll go, we'll go three and a half on this That one. sounds great. Sounds good. Yeah, it works. <laughs> I love a three and a half zigzag. Yeah. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. <laughs> and then we change that to 110%, <laughs> and we say, okay. And we set and OK, edit, move, center. center. Okay. okay. Then ahead. remember, we've got to group it because we want to nab all of them and make them one unit. Right. So we take this, that grabs them all, OK, and then the final there. And that's just confirming yes. last lasso of the, it yeah, all. Yeah, you, okay. you have nabbed it all. OK. And then I just go over to embroidery put it in the memory of the machine. And so now my eyeball is done. Got it. OK. So um, we go out again. And then we go through this whole process again. And uh, where are we? Where am I? OK, there we go. Pocket, right? Yeah. So this is interesting. Even though this circle is sm smaller than this circle, mm -hmm. They're very close to the same size on the screen. Mm -hmm. And you just kind of have to remember which one you, you did, did in first. which order. Yeah. Right? And, this, and is, this is in the My Design Center. Okay. Right. So they okay. do have little numbers. This is one of those times that I would say that if you have a little piece of paper to write it down, have a little post-it. Sure. Write those down. You can kind of keep track of it. The same with the numbers of the stitches. Write those numbers down. Yeah. Then you have that to reference later so you don't get confused. Because it is frustrating yeah. sometimes. Yeah. And it makes that's a good right. idea, definitely. Okay. So again... Kind of go through this whole process again. Can we do the uh, the nose? You want to do the nose? I want okay. to do the nose. Okay, we'll do the nose. I mean, because really, if we got really lazy, we could just use that inner eye for all the charcoals too. I'm True. Just saying. True. I'm always looking for the cheater method. Well, <laughs> okay. I'm all for that one. <laughs> so we'll go back up to the. Okay, good. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so because it's a little wobbly, but that's really yeah. You know, who cares? I mean, for Trust demonstration me. purposes. And when you cut this out of cuddle, <laughs> it's pretty wobbly anyway. It really <laughs> is. Because yeah. it that you can't get real, real close on that applique. You can't get quite as close as you want yeah. to sometimes. So we're just going to erase our coal. Oops, wrong thing, Vicky. There we go. Okay. Maybe just erase. Okay, cool. Look how good you are with that little erase now. Oh, from the, the first little from bit the, was a little struggle. From the side view. From the side view. <laughs> yeah. As I said, I'm used to sitting right on top of it. Right. You know that now you can do all your years from the side of the embroidery oh, machine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that 3 o'clock in the morning when I can barely see. <laughs> right. But I got to get out there and see if I can do it. Just sit on the side of your machine and see how it works. <laughs> okay, did I get it? Oh, we'll bad. see on the next one. Okay, so there's our carrot. So okay. again, okay, can can yeah. I walk through this one? Sure. Okay, absolutely. Want, so you can tell me. So I'll get some muscle memory for okay. this because I feel like there is some of that that's important to learn. So I've got the you've got the carrot circled for me. So now what do mm -hmm. I do? So now you're going to um, you want to change it to from the zigzag to the run pitch or the double run. Okay. Change the color. And then change the color. We're going to do there. Mm hmm Okay. And, and now I click on it. Oh, the bucket, I hit the hit, bucket. Hit the bucket. Where's the bucket? There it is. And then tap the carrot. Okay. The oh. bucket. The whole Dear bucket. Liza. All right. Okay. okay. So we got that. So, so now, now you're going to hit next. 
And since you're grayed here, that means you don't have any floaters. Good job, Vicki. You got them all this time. That's great. Okay. So now, <laughs> if you remember, that's millimeter, but right. it's up to you how long you want to change. I don't know in millimeter. I just, just lengthen it. It's going to do yeah. 2.4. It'll work. Okay. Now you want to put it in the memory. Put it in the memory. In the machine. Of the machine. And then set. And okay. And yes, because we put it in the memory, so it's mm -hmm. okay to do. Mm -hmm. All now right. I'm going to go to edit. Which is where? Oh, up at the top. I see mm -hmm. it. Move. To the center. center. Okay. And say okay. But now you get to do the fun thing. Go to yeah. rotate. Oh. And you're going to rotate it 90. 90 degrees yep. this way. Mm -hmm. And then go Got ahead it. and hit it for a 10. Give it a little bit of an angle. That's what I did. There you go. Great. Okay. So okay. and so the bumpier part of the nose is the top of the nose. Mm -hmm. So we want mm -hmm. to... We sent it left. Mm -hmm. So you're okay. going to say OK. And then you're going to duplicate it. Just this one mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. OK. And move. And center. put it back. That one in the center. Because mm -hmm. that was my, mm -hmm. my placement stitch mm -hmm. and then my tack down mm -hmm. stitch. Mm -hmm. OK. Mm -hmm. So now we need to do okay. the actual stitching. And I'm thinking. Because uh, we've got to put the uh, lines in the nose, and I... We don't have to put the lines in the nose. You did erase them. If I, did, I to... intentionally erased them. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, you intentionally, yeah, you intentionally. I'm just trying to think of... Um, so, uh, <laughs> um, I know the feeling. I know. Uh, add. Kay. We're going to see if it'll work. Where is that at? There we go. Okay, so down at the bottom. go to... My design center. Pocket. Pocket. Oh, right, because this is how we go find mm -hmm. the thing that we just made. Are yep. we going back to mm -hmm. this? Yep. Okay. Let me say okay. All right. So um, go ahead at this point and do rotate and rotate it the 90. The 90 plus down, the 10. And then plus the 10. Okay. And, and then hit the, the center. Middle? Yep. We're going to see if this works. No. Okay. All right. So say okay. Okay. All right. So now you're going to come up here where the pencil is mm -hmm. oh wait first i'm sorry go to the zigzag okay make it the double run okay give it another um color it's yeah purple that's fun uh, no wait a minute Oops, no sorry sorry okay. um just say okay and go back okay sorry that's okay i got myself confused why is part of our carrot off the screen can i get a hand no Nope. It oh, just nope. wrote on it. Yeah, you Dang just wrote it. it. Okay. So okay, so now I have to erase it. Or go cancel. Yeah, because we need to get that carrot moved. So just go go home. Okay. And we're just going to erase what we did. Okay. So okay to clear it. Yes. Yeah. Get rid of it. Yeah. So okay. go back into my design center mm -hmm. and go back into the pocket. Okay. Bring up your carrot. See, that's why you want to save them so you can go back. <laughs> right. So before we do anything further. Okay. And whatever we're mucking up. What I want to do is to go in here to the pencil. Okay. All right, I got a pencil. Okay, no, I'm sorry, go to the zigzag. Okay, and we want, um, yes, this one and double run. Okay. Okay, and so what, what are these, what do these change for me? How the line will be drawn? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and so now we're going to just pick a color. Get that going. And okay. Now, what you're going to have to do is you're going to take and just draw, actually blow this baby up. I was going to say, I need to see this bigger. Let's see, 200. Okay. So now I need to get it so that I can see it. So I have to move it on screen. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now go ahead and tap your pencil again so that, because that mm -hmm. brings it up. So now you're just going to kind of draw some lines, but try not to touch the outside of the carrot. There you go. Sound effects. Yeah, sound effects are really important, guys. Ding, 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 ding. Ring, ring, ring. Okay. There we go. All right. So now they got better as I went. We're only, uh, you know, and you can erase them if you don't That's like them. Right, but, exactly. but it's, it's, I mean, nature. You know? <laughs> Carrots are funky. That's They're it. funky. That's it. it doesn't matter. So what we want to do at this point is those are going to stitch as a double run. But we don't need that carrot outline again because we've already 
got it saved where we want it. Okay. So, but we used it as an outline. So now we're going to make it a no sew. Okay. So you come up in here to your stitching and hit that right there. That's a no sew. Say okay. Bucket. Tap the carrot. And it's going to turn to a lighter gray. Okay. Okay. So now you're going to hit next. What happened? Okay, we're back. Okay. And we're back. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we click the link button. So we click the link. What that does is it takes all three of those and it's going to make whatever changes we make to our stitch length, it's going to put it on all three of them. Got it. If okay. we don't link it, then we have to go to each one individually. Right. But Nobody wants to do that. Why? Really. So you're going to change your length. Okay. To we, whatever you were doing before. 2.4 is what I chose before. Okay, that works. That seemed like a good number. Say okay. <laughs> and we're going to set. Okay. And okay. All right. <laughs> That's all right. So, we got this. So we have we have no carrot innards. Those are our carrot innards. What do you no, mean? But there's no carrot to put it to. Oh, so hit it. hit embroidery, but it's not gonna. Hello. Yeah. Now do we no. Maria? Yeah. Just hit home and go away. Okay. <laughs> Can you save that to add it in later? Okay. Hit cancel. Let's see. Maybe. Memory. We'll we'll give it a shot. We'll see if Hawk's smarter than me. Can we merge Probably two is. files? I don't know. So hit the house and say OK. And then go. Um, so we've OK, we've decided we're just going to use the coal mm -hmm. and all of that. Yeah. OK, we're going to we're going to try this. Yeah, we're going to try it. Okay. OK, so now you're going to go into. Um, sure. <laughs> <laughs> embroidery. embroidery. See, I'm not in front of the machine, so right. it makes it more difficult. Right, exactly. <laughs> I totally get it. The pocket. Because now we're going into where yes. we had it. Yes. Got it. Okay. So you're going to bring up your satin stitch outer eye. Okay, so this is really helpful because we colored each of them differently, mm -hmm. which is another place that you can kind of remember oh, that, which we is didn't, great. We didn't, we didn't save our carrot nose. Rotated. Not rotated. We didn't put the outer on it, right? Yeah. Can we go back in and do that? Yeah. So go back home and go into my design center, the pocket. Okay. Up to the pocket. Mm -hmm. We go grab and the carrot. Grab the carrot and say, okay. Okay. And now you're going to change, take your satin stitch and change the color. Okay. Because this is, this is now actually going to be like the satin stitch that goes around it. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. And then bucket and tap it. Bucket. And then we tap it to make sure that it's got mm -hmm. it. Okay. And so then change. next. Make sure we got everything. We did. Mm -hmm. So now you're going to change your millimeter. And that I would do uh, probably the six again. Okay. It's and a nice big one. Yep. All right. And, and then, then 110 one. to 110. And okay. Okay. Then we're going to set it. Set. Do we want to save it? Or yes. That no, already? we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. I'm going to trust you. Okay. Okay. Edit. Rotate. The 90 and then your 10. That, oops. Wait a minute. What uh, just happened? Okay. Go. Just go back, just go <laughs> yeah. back to reset. Okay. okay. So now I'm... Um, okay. I know you're too close to the edge. So reset. Oh, I see. Just put it in the center. It. Yeah, there you go. Then and do then it. Yeah. Oh, that's Maybe. what happened. Oh, oh, that's good to know. Because I can see that being really frustrating. The hoop. Right. right. Got it. So and, put it in the center and then change okay. it. Okay. okay. And then say okay. Perfect. And then embroidery and memory. Okay. So we're just going to have an extra step on this because, because that's what happens because, sometimes. Yeah, that's it. It's fine. So you're going to go, okay, now home so the and go of out of it. I know. Mm -hmm. Things don't always, you're yeah. like, this is how we should do it. And yeah. this, this is, is how, how it happened. happened. <laughs> so the pocket. Okay. Okay. So you're going to bring up your satin. So you can see at this point, because we, we're going to have a little bit of an issue here with our care. Actually, we don't have to do the care. We'll do the eyeballs. It's good. Can you, can we go back in and edit that and rotate it also? 
with it being on center. Let's bring that up. I want to look at it, please. Yeah, because I think, uh, go ahead to set. Yeah, it's only, okay. So um, go over to edit. Mm -hmm. And I can move this to the center. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to rotate it like you did the and other one. Luckily, the we remember what our rotations were. Right. Okay. And we can save and that. And then you're going to duplicate it because we have to have the two mm -hmm. move and center it. And there we okay. Go. And then hit embroidery and memory and the machine. Got it. Okay. So yeah, that one, the nose is going to have two steps because of. That's all right. We did. So the house and okay. Okay. So now. Now we work talk. Okay. Oh, good. We okay. did it. So embroidery. Okay. Pocket. And you're going to bring up your, we're, we're going to try again, an eyeball. Okay, so and this set. is the big eyeball That's that we the know. big eyeball. All right. And set. Okay. okay. So now we want to edit it, and we want to move it. Okay. And you can actually, oh, look okay. at that fanciness. Say okay. Touch screen enabled. Yeah. Oh, okay, so I didn't. I should, eh, I shouldn't have, okay. Do we go back? Just go to add and bring up the pocket and your second eyeball and set. And, and now we can move the eye to wherever we want it to Where be. you think you want it. Got okay. it. Add. Oh. Pocket. Little eyeball. We're just going to create it all in here. Mm -hmm. And now you can move it. You can either use the mouse or your finger. Okay. okay, so this is where you could kind of look at the pattern and be like, I don't know, where is it at? Yeah, or wherever you want it. You can have him looking up the sky. You can do whatever. Googly eyes on everything. There okay. you go. And then I do the same mm -hmm. thing, right? Yep. Oh, this is fun. Okay. And set. Move your little eyeball. Okay. <laughs> and try not to get too close to the two satin stitches so that they really overlap because it can be. So it gives them white with space. With the cuddle, between. it gives a, it's it's difficult. So then add pocket. And you're going to bring in this nose because that's where we did the two mm -hmm. most recent. So you'll go ahead and set. And actually, let's go. Uh, yeah, go ahead and move it. I was getting all excited. I kind of knew what I was doing. Oh, except I didn't. Yep. OK, because we forgot to see what happens if you forgot. To, we didn't group those two before we had left that screen. I just so, moved it. OK, but I want you to go to 100%, bring up to either 200 or 400. Take the pan, move it so you can see that nose to make sure that they are directly on top of one another. So hit Edit. You can see I have to get closer to the screen. Move. I think I did pretty good. I think you did, yeah. I think you did. OK. All right. I just had to make sure. Close enough for government work. That's right. Yeah, that's a snowman face. OK. So we'll back I know. Up. Look at his eyes. I mean, really. What am I doing 100%? <laughs> OK. Then you're going to go to Add. And you're going to bring in your satin stitch carrot. And then I put this. Yeah, you're going to have to move it. it over on Oops. top of it. But I have to edit it. Yeah, edit and move, move it. it. And then I can grab it. Yeah. Move it. Maybe. Come on. Why are you not moving? Why are you not moving? I don't know. I just decided it wasn't going to move. Move. <laughs> OK. Why are you being a turd? That's super weird. So if I select something, what is that? OK, that's the eyeball. That's an eyeball. That's the little, little eye. eye. Little, little eye. eye. Background nose. Other nose. Mm -hmm. And now okay, the outer. Now try that one. It doesn't want to move. Hmm. Interesting. We secured it wherever it's at. Yeah, man. It, that That's where it's at. That baby's it's stuck, stuck. there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, where well, there's a will, there's a way. Can so you leave it there and move everything else? That that's what I was just going to say. So okay, let's good. just go to select. Okay. And okay. Oh, so let's, let's not do that one yet. Let's grab. Select again, and again, and again, and again. Okay, and you're going to move that nose 
Oh, See? for Pete's sake. Do we need a... <laughs> We need to do a save. Let's do this on screen because it's fun. Exactly. <laughs> so we're just, no, 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 we'll cancel. We're just going to delete and select delete. So it'll grab that. And this is when we're like, if you're at home, this is when you do the hard restart. Yeah. We're to try to not do that. Yeah. I'm trying not to. Okay. And delete. I mean, we could just and do the okay. eyeballs too and be like, yeah, this is how okay. you're going to do it. And delete. <laughs> and okay. Okay. So. Let me see what. Okay, do you want to switch around? You can come back over to you man it. It might see. be the touch. Yeah, you know, right. It might need the Vicky yeah. touch. I don't know. I think I mucked up, guys. So let's bring up this one. And that's two of them. So we're just going to go ahead. We're going to group those we're again. Go ahead and group those. Okay, stick those. So that will do the placement line and then the tack down line. Yes. Okay, and, and then we're going to add the one that we did with the stitch. Oh, got it. Okay. Okay, and then we will. And then we'll group those move. all together. That. I see what there you're doing there. There we go. Okay. Now all three of those are a unit. Are a unit. Got it. And then vertically. And then. Okay. okay. All right. Perfect. So and. Yeah, I want to just grab it. I want it to just move automatically. There we go. I saw it there. moving. There we go. We will force it. We will make it. I really do think, like, one of the things that I've learned with embroidery is that sometimes like, the intuitiveness isn't there for me, that I can't just figure it out. And I've learned that I've really had to be patient and taking a breath and sometimes like this, like we know how we know what to do. I know, what, know to what to do. do. You've yeah. done it lots it's of times. Just... And sometimes it just doesn't work out. I mean, and sewing is this way too, but embroidery is really where I found it, where I've had to struggle a little that I've been like, okay, I thought this is what would work. And it doesn't, but really it just takes a bit of patience, just breathing through it for a second and being like, all right, we can do this. Um, yeah. Sometimes it takes a little more effort than I want it to, but I've definitely learned to be more patient with myself and not freak out that it's not working exactly like I want it to. I'll give him some kooky eyes. I love the kooky eyes. I really do. I think they're just so silly. It's the thing, um, if you've ever made the monster pillow, which is this was loosely based on, um, it's the same sort of ideas. And I love the monster pillow because his eyes are just completely kooky. Very fun. So you're just using that little nudge, yep. nudge tools? Yeah. Yes. Great. Okay, so that's the want, carrot that's we know. That's the most recent nose. Yeah, that's the one that has all of them. We got that. Yay, it moved. It moved, yay. Look at that, his nose moves. <laughs> and this is where you could kind of play around with it for a while. Oh, yeah. And figure you, out how you, can you get, want it. You can get carried away where you want to have these show up. And then Which we, also lets you have all sorts of flexibility in how his face looks and doing other fun things yes, with his face. Yes, yes. And so then we're just going to... Move this baby. He's got a there nose ring just does. like me. Wow. Yes. Our little snowman has a nose ring just like me. Yeah. And I believe I, I've really done this the hard way, guys. There are even easier ways, but I had to make it difficult on screen. Uh, yes, of course. But the good thing is you can watch this over and, and, and over, over and over again and figure it out. Yeah. I just think it's great that, that we can talk about the this machine has this scanning capability. That it has the capability. The yes. I, I mean, you mentioned earlier that when you're embroidering designs and making mm -hmm. embroidery designs, you have to use separate software. Right. And it's significantly more challenging than this. Yes. This is a great sort of step in. It's like a it shortcut. really, it really is. Yeah. If you're not doing a lot of embroidery design, yeah. this is a great way of just kind of messing around with it. And making, I, I kind of feel kind like of this is a pretty simple design mm -hmm. to have done this on. Yes. But I imagine that that scanning software will pick up detail on something way more complex. Right. Oh, that, I've actually. That might be harder yep. to enter into. I yes, made totally. stockings for the um, employees years ago and had them sign 
pieces of white paper and I scanned their signatures on the tops of oh, their stockings. Wow. And, and oh, that's fun. So their signatures were on their stockings. And you were able to do that with this, this, with this scanning. Got mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. a really fun, a fun little gift too. I like that. Because I know people take like pictures that their grandkids have drawn uh -huh. and done them on it. I'm only going to do five rocks because Sounds great. this isn't the design that. We're, we're not going to do all of them anyway. No, we're just, we're we're just going to do a couple hustling, little things. Hustling through this one. But this is what it's going to okay. take. It's just a mood. Yeah. So you, I mean, if you wanted to do a smile that had, you know, 15 yes. of those rocks. You just, you yeah, you just kind of keep. Okay, so we're going to say, okay, we're and then we're going to go ahead and say that this face I is love all him. right. I think his face is and great. And so you, what you want to <laughs> do, because if each one of these pieces is going to move in separately, so we want to make it one unit. So it's all one. Because right now, if I move it, it's only going to move that one rock that has the red square around it. So again, we're going to go into the group hit that pink, it takes every single piece and we say, okay, and then come up here and see now there's a red box around the whole thing. So the whole face will move. Got it. Right. Okay. As one unit. Okay. So it could be, so I could see that one of the things that I might want to do is make sure his eyes just stay in the same place that I want them to. Yeah. And so you could group his eyes yes. together, group his mouth together. Yes. You can group got, individual got pieces together oh, if just, you want and to, and then it move it. Because if you're thinking, oh, I like the eyes there, or right. I want the nose to do something mm -hmm. else. So that's our face. Perfect. So I then what you do is you're just going to get rid of that scanning bed. And so I just hooped. That's a massive hoop. This I love is the it. 10 and 5 eighths by 10 and 5 eighths. And I've just hooped a piece of medium weight tearaway. And you're going to, where do I go? Because I need a flat area. We will get a flat area for you. We gotcha. So you're going to take that. And then I've already done a pre sew on this. So I took the seal and I cut out my circle and spray based spray basted it to my scrap batting and then i've already stitched it down so i just want to double check and make sure that my seal is coming towards me the nap of the seal is coming towards me mm -hmm. so i'm going to take a little bit of spray based can we get that for you <laughs> there you go <laughs> just a little bit because you're just trying to get it to stay just there for just a minute yeah it doesn't and make sure that I'm going in the right direction. And you don't have to get super crazy about centering this. Because you can fix that later. We can, we're gonna show you what on this what this machine will do for oh. you for placement. So now if you had a machine that didn't have so big of a hoop, you mm -hmm. should get a machine that you can get that big of a hoop. Yeah. That's the first step. <laughs> I mean, hello. But, then, <laughs> but if you had to, you could just you could actually hoop out each part. Like Absolutely. do the eyes, do Absolutely. the nose. Absolutely. Yes. You if do you those were separately. limited to a five by seven or a six by ten hoop, mm -hmm. you could easily you would just have to hoop each individual part. You could get your eyes and then maybe your nose okay. and then your mouth. And that's you what would, I was thinking. You would okay. probably you'd have to fiddle a little bit more on mm -hmm. where you want to get it lined up. Right. But it does work. Okay. It does work. Great. But in a perfect world. Yes. We all have this machine. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, Christmas is right around the corner. I guys. always say that you can make big little, but you can't make little big. That's true. true. So, you know, it's there true. you go. <laughs> so, all right. So what it's done now is I'm going to, I've already taken it into the embroidery mode. And just so I can see where my face is going to land. Now, I probably would play with this a bit more, mm -hmm. but we just want to kind of move on here. Mm -hmm. but We're just going to let him have a goofy face. Yeah. So you're going to hit the projector button right here. Hang on. Okay. That's that little the that, button? Yeah, that's the little projector button. Okay. Okay, and then you go over and look at the oh, machine. Oh, man. So Magic. it has projected where right now where the nose is there's a red box there's a red box here on the screen i'm going to take my 
finger and I'm going to move it to that eye. Oh. So it's showing me where that eye is going to land. Everybody's oh, getting a psychedelic experience. Yeah, they do that. The, the camera. Yeah. <laughs> that's the that's the bad thing when you show the projector. And then if I just really that's want funny. to double check, I bring it down just to kind of show me. I'm going to take a little picture so where we can, we can post it later. Oh, wow. It even does it in my camera. Yeah. That's pretty fun. Yeah. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> That's exciting. Yeah. So see if I, now if I want to. It's wanted, way, way more boring in person. It's just a green circle. I know, I know. <laughs> but on camera, it's like, ooh, okay. So That's exciting. So I can move this if I want to. If I decided that design wasn't where I wanted it to be, I could actually move it. So, and because we we did it as a unit, it's moving all of it. Right. Okay. But actually, Tinnard was pretty good. I got to, I got to learn how to put things in crooked um <laughs> but um so this is technically now ready to go okay but if so say if um say you were taking your snowman and you wanted to put it like on the back of my jacket yes back like on the shirt. back of your mm -hmm. shirt we could actually here turn around so so say she wanted the snowman face right here we wanted it like two or three inches from the top she could use that projector to say oh. okay i want the eyes to start here, we would put the projector on there to see. Now, nice. because your shirt is black, we have the ability to change the color of oh. the background here too. So if your shirt you was really hooped, look. yes, or a vest or Got something. It. So when I'm doing clothing, I will hoop that and then I can use the projector to get it spaced right where I want it to Perfect. land. Perfect. So if you wanted to do it something like where, where the, the eyes were going to be in a certain place, or yes. the design was going to be in a certain yes. place, you would mark it on that thing yes. and line it up on here. Yes. You could see exactly how it will land. Yes. Like, so I had a, so if I wanted like um, something specifically in this area uh -huh. of the pocket, I would have this hooped, and then I could use the projector to show that it's landing where I want it Got to. Got it. Before you actually do all of that embroidery work. Yes. Which, yeah. Yes, yeah. I've placed things wrong. It's, yes. It's not fun. Right. No, it's not. It's not fun at all. No matter how many different tools they come out with. <laughs> it's never fun. This is the best. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, exactly. All right. Just okay. put it in the right place in the first place. Yes. So okay. how are we on time-wise? We're doing okay. Do you want to use okay. the water-soluble stabilizer? Yes. Okay. So there's that. Here's my scissors. I don't have so, any tape for you. Sorry. It's okay. It's with my, I, I like to get my fingers in the way. Got it. Yeah, that's the way most uh, embroiderers I know. You know, it's yeah. like, take my chances. <laughs> don't do it, people. Don't do <laughs> so, it. And one of the things, I had this unthreaded. And the reason that I had the machine unthreaded is if you scan with the thread in the machine, it will show up. Your thread, you're going to see oh. a drag mark on your design where the thread is. So I generally try to scan without... Oh, that makes sense that when it takes that original picture, yes. it will see the thread and say that it's part of your design. Yes. That's a great note. And yeah, the threader on this machine makes me so happy. Well, I have to tell you, I'll tell the secret. Tina's mother, when I had my quilt shop, they mm -hmm. used to do embroidery classes in my quilt shop. And she was sitting at a front table. And they had been trying for years to get me to buy an embroidery machine. Okay. And I wouldn't do it because I knew what would happen if I bought one. That, that I would become consumed. Yes. <laughs> and so I was walking through from going around her table and she had, was changing thread. And that threader threaded the needle. And I backed up and I said, what did that just do? <laughs> and she looks at me like, oh, I got you finally. And she unthreaded it, rethreaded it. I yeah. had an embroidery machine. Yes. yes. And the rest uh, is now history. Right. Yeah. The, so, the threader on the baby lock and brother machines. Makes it's me really awesome. Happy. It is awesome. <laughs> okay. So I'm just putting just a big hunk. You'll find that um, in my life and I think in everybody's life, I know we all think, oh, that's such a big piece of stabilizer. You know, stabilizer is cheap in the yeah. scheme of things. And it will make your life so much easier yes. if you use it. <laughs> yeah, it's one thing I forget because I'm pretty new to embroidery. And I sometimes forget when I start. And then every time I have to go back and oops, redo it. Oops, but when I do, stop like that. Yep. Yeah, you realize it makes it makes such a difference in the finish. It does. 
Okay, so you're using the same thread that we're going to use when we stitch it down. Yes. So even yeah. though we have other colors in there, when we did the lines, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that doesn't help. I use what. Okay, so this is doing the placement stitch. This is the placement. So we know where to put the fabric. Yes. Next. Give it a good little shake. I'm just looking for yep, direction. Yep. So this one, you're not using the water saw. You no, know, because I'm going to have to, to kind of. I've, I've got to very cut around it. So this is one too, where like you have the embroidery tip, you can just tape that baby down. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I just stick my hand in there. That's right. But I'm going to encourage people to do it the the, uh, the safe way. Oh. <laughs> but then when you actually do it, you know you're not going to do it that way. But you know, no, no. we're not. Also, don't run over your hand. <laughs> don't run over your finger. I've heard the story. <laughs> okay. So now I need a flat spot again. Yeah. Sorry, Hawk. We're good. And here's my scissors. Okay. When we uh, when we had Parker on the porch on the show, um, I don't know, six months ago or so, when we were in Maryland, and she designs embroidery patterns all yes. the time. It's what she does. And uh, yeah, she didn't want to use the tape, but she used her fingers. And yeah, it was. I was like, oh, but I thought I thought you had to. Yeah, she said no. <laughs> so I think the people who do it all the time are very comfortable with it. Me, I'm still a little afraid of getting my fingers anywhere near it. Okay, so you're just cutting right around it. Yeah, I'm just getting getting close. And like I said, with the cuddle, it's real difficult to get super, super close. Yeah, what I found with the water-soluble stabilizer, too, is when you're doing this trimming, it's actually so much easier if you have the water-soluble on there. Yes. Because those fibers from this the bottom, the seal, are so long that they will just get cray-cray if you do not put the water-soluble over it first. You end up giving the long piece of haircut? Yes. Got it. exactly what happens and at the end sometimes we do get a little haircut around it to make it look really nice but were those duckbill scissors no they're, they're, they're just, just they were just yeah, regular just just they, they, they do have a you swoop know, everybody a has tip. their favorite scissors yep, yep. these are mine i like i really like the curved mm -hmm. tips as well yeah i use my um see my little it didn't it didn't change ones. and the see i went oh why is it because it's supposed to automatically change to green. I did not have that engaged. As soon as I engaged it, it went to green. So it tells me. It'll tell you. It goes, it hey, won't let you mess up too much. Hey, ding dong. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't do what you were supposed to. Okay, now you get to really sit here and watch paint dry. Okay. So now it's in the satin stitch? It's in the satin stitch. Because we did a stitch to put it, place it. Mm -hmm. We did one to actually tack it down, mm -hmm. trimmed it. And now you do the satin yep. stitch all the way around yep. it. And all of them will work that way. Yes. The, the whole thing is going to do that. So could you choose in the preparation for this, you could choose a different stitch. We did a zigzag. Is there a way that you could do? You like, could do a blanket stitch. A blanket stitch. You can do a blanket stitch. You could stitch. do a wider just, zigzag if you just wanted to do just a big zigzag around it. You could, you could make, change it. Yes, you could. You, okay. If you just wanted to do, instead of a satin stitch, mm -hmm. you could make it just, you could open it up. Instead of making it 110%, you would actually go in the other direction. Got it. Okay. So it could just you can just play around with yep. it and see what you like. Yep. To do what oh. you want. This is what I want. Can so. you show this one, Hawk? This is her purse that she did with the snowman face. Do you remember yep. the name of the purse pattern? No, but somebody will nab somebody it can for find me. it for us. It's hanging oh. on that wall over there. You did it if I used that round 55%. I scaled the pattern down 55% and it fit perfectly to this pattern. Which is very fun. Boop. <laughs> very fun. So this is the same yep. thing done yep. with the seal. And there's the pattern. Nice. Yep. Okay. And really it's, cute. It's just totally fun, lined. Fun variation yeah. on it. It was just something I had to try. That's great. Is this the cork fabric? Yes, that's cork. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's lined with this cute snowflake. This is the cork with the silver in it mixed with the And you seal can use cotton, front. of course. I just like cork. 
And this, it looks like you actually embroidered all of this. So this is not applique. Right. I took, did. I, and I took the same design it. and I used the fill stitch rather than making it an applique. I did a fill stitch. Very cool. I recommend if anybody's going to do it, I did do, um, I did one without putting the, uh, <laughs> the uh, sounds the, like um, <laughs> the, the plastic stuff under <laughs> not that no not the not, not the this. not this the colored stuff oh my gosh i want to say topper but is it topper it's not topper <laughs> we're gonna figure out what it is they're gonna go find the name out for okay me. but but it, but it, it comes do in it. the first one i failed to put um and actually, that's probably in the garage because I kept my mistake. Um, I didn't put this product underneath the eyes and the nose and everything. Mm -hmm. And the um, the cuddle came through and it didn't stitch real solid. Oh, okay. And so when I did this one, this I one actually, here. and this comes in colors. And so oh. I put this product, I like top color cover. Okay. I put this product underneath. It's still an OESD product. Yes, it is. It, it is. And, but it goes underneath the it goes, seal. It, no, it goes underneath your stitching. Oh, it goes underneath So here. this black, there's a black piece in here, is under here. Oh. And there's an orange piece under here. That's how and there's no little blips coming up. Right. It Got keeps, it. Okay. This is like a plastic type product. Right, and it stays in there forever. It's going to stay so, in there. So that would be the difference because when we're doing embroidery, we always wanted to have like the, the water soluble topper on here because that helps that, you know, keeps it where you want it to do when you do a knockdown stitch, that sort of thing. And it will keep it there, but that's something that does happen is when that water soluble stabilizer comes out, the stitch, the the sti fabric. that fabrics will come out, mm -hmm. the little bits mm -hmm. of fiber. Mm -hmm. So that goes in between, yes. stays in there forever, yes. and keeps that yes. fabric where yes. we want it to be. Yeah. Putting and you got on the it. Spot. How many different colors does that come in? Does it come in every color of embroidery thread? Or? No, no, no. <laughs> okay. There's okay, four sheets each of white, red, and black, two sheets of yellow, orange, green, and blue. I can read. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. So you get the rainbow in it, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then it is, it's just yeah. soft. And it then feels what? like it's probably a little bit thicker it, than this. Maybe? It is a little bit thicker. Yeah. Okay. So and a then, little thicker so than water soluble. It just really stitches and then you just flexible. peel it off like it just got it right off. That is super cool. That is a great it, idea it because just, I, I know that that's an issue with embroidering on cuddle is that sometimes the, especially the luck stuff wants to kind of pop. Right. Through. Right. Anybody got else it. having problems with no sound in the uh, studio audience, the home audience? I mean. I've uh, got one person saying no sound. Okay. And it might be a local issue. It I might be. Got anybody else? Okay. Oh, wow. Yet. So you can give us a little thumbs up okay. if you can hear us. Okay. So now it's going to do the same thing with a stitch good. out. Yeah. It's going to do the. It's going to do the. And that note was all the way from Scotland. So. Yeah. Oh, my. Wow. Is that Vicky? Yeah. Hi, Vicky. I think we actually. Yeah, I, I forget. Sorry. Actually, that's Ohio, Vicky. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many. We got Oregon Vicky, Ohio yeah. Vicky, Scotland Vicky. They're everywhere. <laughs> kind of like the Sasquatch I was telling you about. Whoa. Vicky's are everywhere. Oh. Gee, thanks yeah. a are lot. Everywhere. I yeah. think you are a Sasquatch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoop. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't Greece, work. Yeah. <laughs> So we got a little pucker up yeah, there. Yeah, I got a little pucker, but what are we gonna do about it? Leave it. Shrug it. Exactly. Shrug it off. That's what I tell Works people. Works for me. Just let it go. You know, that's the beauty I find of cuddle is that it hides a multitude of sins. Uh, it really does. And everyone's so, you know, overwhelmed with how soft it is that they really don't care. Yeah. Like they really don't. So we just trim away. So those are, um, do you know what brand of scissors you've got there? These are gingers. Those are gingers. They're just the curved tip scissors. Yeah. But like I said, and I everybody really like those has their tips. faves, but mm -hmm. I have um, a pair of the Kai that are curved tips and I really do like them a lot. Yeah. Yeah. They're very, to me, very a lot of people, why don't you use duck? I just, I, I'm too uncoordinated with duck bill. I think it, it, I'm okay with them with cotton, but I found that with the cuddle, having the micro serrated scissors or really little scissors like that works a lot better. Yeah. I'll show you the ones that I've got. Yeah, 
you just slide it on there and then the little lock that's the part that i mess up too. yeah i forget to put that little lock in but the light turned green the light turned green when you put the little locker down okay the metal there we go so we're going to show you these are the scissors i'm going to Oh, yeah, those are those are my faves. But those are really nice. Very good. And I've got the little ones that are in there. I can't quite reach them. The ones that are the pinchies. Oh yes, we have those in so stock I've got some too. Of these. This is the like the thread cutter ones. But this I have another pair that are the curved tip ones. So these are great. This one actually you can pop it underneath and cut stitches. Oh, that's, that's fine. That's and it's 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 got a little preloaded. It's got a little springy. Yeah, for so, jump stitches. Yeah. So sometimes this is easier to use the springy stuff. I don't particularly love them, but I really feel like there's you know there's something for everyone. There's always you know something. Okay, so when it's stitching out, I, mm -hmm. questions here. Mm -hmm. So when it's stitching out on here, it's going to stitch in this order of color and right in the or so what it's going to go to next is i believe it's going to be our inner eye so each one of these are like the placement the placement the outside stitching yeah placement tack down applique placement tack down applique got it okay that yeah. totally makes sense so yeah. will it do all of the green no it'll do it in the order we put it on like Okay. Yeah. So it'll do yeah. the eye. So we we'll yeah. do the. And both you do the have the eyes. ability with this machine that you can change the order of the way it's going to stitch out. Mm -hmm. I could have changed the order, but that's another class. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean that. that, that's that a, these are the, the ones that we have. So those are the ones that I have. Right. The little, the little snippy things. ones. Yeah. So that's one of the things that I have found about the embroidery machine is I have the baby lock pathfinder is what mm -hmm, I've got. Mm -hmm. And the amount of things that you can do with it mm -hmm, is mm -hmm. kind of overwhelming and being able to like learn all of those things. I do recommend, I mean, people always ask like, where do I find a machine? Where do I get a machine? Or what kind of is the best machine? I mean, like the one that you can actually get classes with. That's usually my answer mm -hmm. because really what you want is somebody who can teach you all of this stuff because yeah. there is so much to learn, especially with the embroidery machines, mm -hmm. I feel like mm -hmm. it's not necessarily intuitive, mm -hmm. even if you've sewn, like right. we're talking about, like we've sewn, both of us have sewn since we were 10. It's not necessarily intuitive to move to an embroidery machine and just know how it's going to work. Like it has all sorts of features that really, you kind of have to be taught either right. going through the book very slowly right. yep. or taking classes at shops like this. Well, and we'll have people who have not purchased their machine from us and they'll come in and they want me to teach them and I tell them how much they're going to pay and they look at me like I'm... <laughs> <laughs> who do you think you are? Well, right. I know who I am. Yeah. And that's the part of doing, getting the machine from, uh, getting the machine from the shop that you're going to take the classes. Cause oftentimes those classes are actually just included in the purchase. Yes. Yeah. It's a very good way of doing it. And I really sign, get your machines from stores that can service you. That was it's really say, helpful. Buy, buy your machine from a shop that you like the, the education. Yeah. Because Hard they, I mean, yeah, educators, obviously, <laughs> she knows a lot more about this than I do. And it's because that's what, you know, the stores will specialize in it and get to do all sorts of stuff. And a little sideways on you there. Yeah. They don't make spools like they used to. Nope. <laughs> are there any embroidery spools that are wooden? I don't think it's been around no. that long. <laughs> no. Seriously, look at that. It's amazing like the best just threaded right there I ready know. to go it's heaven it really is <laughs> okay so right. now you have an option here you can either take your chances and just stitch it or you can put another topper on it and what would you do at this point i would put another topper on okay yeah and that's what I I do. My topper. <laughs> all right you give me a little me. slice here <laughs> there we go all right and what time are we looking at here uh, Almost twelve thirty. Th All right, 30, so we're gonna so. stitch this out, and then okay. Michael can find um and I some winners. Um, you're gonna stitch the actual pupil out. So okay. she changed it to white. We're gonna stitch the placement line, and then the next one, and the next one, and the next one. So we're gonna do that while Michael finds a winner for us for um, our beginner box. We didn't really talk about it at the beginning. That's what we're gonna give. Oh, oh, did I forget to bring white over? We did. Do you want to put orange? We can in give his him an orange eye. Give him an orange eye. An orange eye. It's just a practice. Um, so we forgot to talk about the, um, the prize. So Florian G and Cheryl CB, 
um, please send us an email to info at shannonfabrics.com with your mailing address and all that good stuff. We will send you the beginner box. So the beginner I'm gonna, box. I'm gonna come around see if you can whoop it around. Way. There we go. This, so the beginner box is a great little right kit. There. Has three one yard cuts. We will send you this, and you will be able to make six different projects in that. It's also a great place to practice all of this stuff. Okay, so you can do that. All right, so you want to come around front, Hawk? She's going to keep finishing that, and we'll... Okay. We could be here the rest of the day. Yes, we could. <laughs> so embroidery is one of those things, too, that is never as fast as I want it to be. <laughs> I want it to be like, just, you know, pop it out and just, boop, there we go, it's done. He's doing all it's, the it's stitching it's for you, doing right? Doing all the stitching. <laughs> I was making little napkins the other day, and it took me like an hour for each one because I had to keep changing the thread color. I was like, why Why don't I have a 10 needle? Um, so <laughs> that's what's next. All right, so you're going to keep going with this one. We're yeah, gonna this is going to be one weird-looking okay. snowman. He is going to be because fun. he's going to have All right, it. super fun. He's so gonna... remember, you can get the kits at greensdirect.com. So they have kits for both the snowman and the snowman hat, and the snowman hat pattern is included in that kit. The snowman pillow is a download got from it. our yes, yes. I got it. I got a note. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it. Um, it is, and so you can um, download the pattern for the snowman pillow itself on shannonfabrics.com. You go to shannonfabrics.com/blog. You'll be able to find the blog post for this show, which will give you links to the Santa pillow. No, the snowman pillow. What are we making? I don't know. Some holiday thing. The snowman <laughs> pillow, the snowman hat, as well as the link for the previous video that we did with the um, applique on the sewing machine. So if you don't have an embroidery machine yet, you should buy one, but also... You can do it on your regular sewing machine and just do the applique version. And I will walk you through that whole step in that one, including putting on the band and all of that good stuff. So that information is on the other episode. This one, we're just talking about how to do this on your, on your embroidery machine. Okay. So if you want help making the whole thing, that's where you need to go. Um, okay. So we will be back next week. We're going to be at Tater Patch in Merrill, Oregon, which is a couple hours from here, right on the California border. We are very close. To At elevation. Back. At elevation. Very exciting. And we're making the infinity scarf, but the team spirit infinity scarf, which is a kind of a fun one that uses two different fabrics. So it's a great one for wearing to games because you'll be able to like you wear your team's colors, all that good stuff. Or you could just choose, choose two coordinating fabrics that you really love. That's what I did. I made one for Hawk. Remember, it has the, um, the Hawk Pecan and the Glacier Pecan, which was really pretty together. So we're going to do that next week. And then our very last show on the road will be at Cali Quilt Co. on December 13th. So if you have not gotten the chance to see us, there are still time to buy flights out to <laughs> Sacramento <laughs> and come see Let's us out there. It's going to be very fun. So I am looking forward to that. All right. Did we get everything we're supposed to? Uh, let's one, one more thing. Just, just a, a little, a little oh. note. It is. Um, yes. It, from Shannon Fabrics. Our it is Vienna month. Vienna is the, our <gasps> fabric. Of oh, month. that looks so pretty. Yeah, Ooh, and look this at that. is just super yummy. And, you know, if you want this, you're going to have to convince your local quilt shop that they're going to need to put an order in. Yes. It comes in a bunch of different colors. I don't remember how many. But if you go to the a Shannon bunch. Fabrics website and check it out, one of the first things you're going to see is that Vienna is the color. Yep, the, is the, the fabric, fabric for the month. month. Yeah, oh, and yeah. it's great in uh, for pillows and blankets, and then the, the mink stole pattern that we have, beautiful. You saw it in the little commercial beforehand. So, um, all right, I think that might be it. Is that it? Poof, it's a show. Poof, it's a show. Ta-da! Where's our pillow? Here we. Oh, here's one. Here you go. All right, ta-da! This is how it works. Make your own. All right. Hey, thank you so much for joining us. There I appreciate go. you. We will see you next week. Um, what is it? December 6th next week. We're already in December. Oh, so time to get these holiday projects going. All right. Until next week. Happy sewing. <laughs>